Hi, good afternoon, Nitya. How are you? I'm um, good, good, a bit tired. I uh, had a long day already, loads of stuff happening, but yeah, good. So tell me, um, how do you currently market your projects and products and services? How do we currently market the product and services? Well, that's a long question for hopefully not a too long answer, but mm -hmm. the answer is pretty straightforward, is to say, well, we need to understand where and what our market is. Um, so in essence, the work involves understanding who do we target, and then it's only the de deployment. So I guess the interesting part from, I guess, anybody watching this video, the point is, if we found that uh, an avenue we want to take is by targeting bloggers, and we want to market the website through marketing through Blogger, mm -hmm. then the deployment itself is the easy bit, because you contact bloggers and you find a way for them to get excited about the product and blog about you. What I think is more interesting for anybody in essence doing any marketing is first understand your markets. That means not not just a segmentation by age or or gender, but actually in terms of behavior. What kind of magazines do people read? Uh, where do they spend their time on the internet? Do you want to do marketing offline and online, depending on the depending on the behavior of, of your audience? And I think that's the interesting part of anybody doing any marketing is do your research first. And um, for Flavorbox, what, have you, what do you feel is, uh, has been the best marketing tool or the variety of marketing tools? Uh, we have, I, I have yet, can't really actually tell you. So what we're doing now and the, the time in the position at which we are now is actually exploring all those opportunities, having done the research and then now saying Let's get as much data as we can from each and then figure out which one converts better. Right. And I think, so the honest answer is I don't know yet. Okay. I've got a gut feeling potentially and an idea, but they're not really relevant because until I've got pure data and understanding of the market, this is already pretty useless. So how long did it take you to get a hang of your marketing techniques? What works best for you? How long did it take you to figure that out? Just, uh, as I said, we're still in the process, so the answer is it takes months and years, uh, depending on how quickly you can gather the data. So it's um, trial and error then? It's trial and error, it's exactly that. We tend to be trapped, mm -hmm. generally, in a frame of mind where you think, oh, this is not going to work, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. We debate whether we should have a 6 months or a 12-month subscription for the box. Because I didn't think originally that people would, but actually it's great value for money. And actually a lot of people have actually signed up for the, for the 6 or 12 months, which is amazing. And despite my gut feeling not being the same, then actually I was proven by data the opposite. I think it's really important. And that's, that's the best example I can give. Do you find people are helpful in spreading your news and your message about what Flavorbox does? In terms of Flavorbox, yes, for sure, because it's an exciting product. People are excited, they need something new, it's something that you know people feel passionate about and, and connect with. And it's the story, at the end of the day, our story is genuinely is genuine because of our vision and what we want to achieve. And I think that people connect to that because of that. I don't think it's particularly because I have green glasses and I speak with a weird accent or the fact that, you know, it's not about us, it's about what we've created, but the reason we've created is because there's a passion behind it. I think it reflects and generally feels that people like it. And when we talk to people, they're motivated, they're energized, they're excited, and they feel really positive about what we're doing. And so they want to connect. If they want to connect and help, then we get it and, and it's fabulous so we're really grateful to anybody helping us along the journey including you oh thank you that's very great um that will be all for this week so thank you very much ruben for joining us um do you have any updates for the upcoming week have i got any updates for the week um there's a um, there's a lot of work uh, there's some holidays as well um <laughs> Finally, we haven't had any holidays in about a year, so you know it's, 
it's good time we get some. Yes. And, uh, and progressing, actually, which uh, we can dedicate this video to. She's amazing, uh, and she's, she's coming on board in a, in a more, um, in a better capacity, in a bigger capacity, and we're really, really, really grateful for her input. And on another note, we have Victoria as well, that's been amazing and helping us as well. So, so all in all, we have, we have help from a lot of sides and, and a lot of people, but these are the two at the moment that uh, I, I would thank for their work, and it's, it's a good time now since, since they've started uh, working. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure.